All right, today's daily rehab session is all about the landmine press and how to do it correctly. Now, landmine pressing is for when you are out of your shoulder rehab just about and you're working through that transition into strengthening. Now, it's a fantastic open chain exercise and we're gonna show you how to do it really, really safely so you can go from rehab to strengthening into that open chain shoulder pressing, which is so important if you're returning to normal activity in sport, but how to do it correctly, how to do it safely, and what angle you've got to be at. So for this exercise, you want to start like Joe is in kneeling. If you're doing it in standing, basically the angle is not so right. So if Joe, if you have a stand for me, if he's in standing, what tends to happen is when he presses up, the angle of that bar is too vertical, so he doesn't get the vertical press of it. It almost turns into a push press one, okay? And, and when it's down the bottom here, it's all too sort of low at the start of the press, so it's down too low, too much stress there. So the best thing to do is do it in kneeling. And listen what, you're gonna be more stable in kneeling as well. So when he presses forward in that, when it gets up, it's still got that vertical load down on the shoulder, okay? now. First things you gotta work about is making sure that this shoulder blade, blade, I should say, stays down, all right? It stays down in position. You don't want it hitching forward. So the big thing about landmine pressing is trying to isolate it into the shoulder joint, the glenohumeral joint, getting strength in there. And so we don't want this shoulder blade at the start of the movement hitching up like that, okay? It's gotta stay down. So when you're pressing, don't launch into it and wind up your upper trap when you're supposed to be actually stabilizing down here and pressing. So if Joe goes through that slowly, this is gonna stay still at the first part of the movement. Now, of course, with all shoulder movement, the shoulder blade moves, okay? We just wanna make sure he's not hitching at the top like that, like a full press above, okay? We're trying to isolate down to a little bit of shoulder blade movement, but mostly focusing on the glenohumeral joint. So there's tip number one. Stop the hitching at the start, don't do the hitching at the end, and then you'll get a bit more isolation there. Now, of course, this is in the front. Now, if you can see in that position there, he's very much in a neutral plane, okay? So the shoulder joint, the shoulder blade's coming out here, the shoulder ball is sitting in that front plane like that. Now, when you're starting, the best thing to do is go into what we call a scaption plane. So all he needs to do is change the angle of the body, okay? So what happens here is this, when he pushes upwards now, if you look at the line of the ball and the humerus going into the socket, it's in a more natural plane. Now, this does vary from some people to another person. So you might find it's 30 degrees, maybe 45 degrees of the line of angle of that humerus into the shoulder. Think of like, if this is the socket, now remember the ball and socket's like almost like a, like a ball sitting on a golf tee, it's a very small socket. The middle or midline part of that ball game of the socket is on a sort of 30 to 45 degree plane, not this plane here, it's out on an angle. And that means when the compression load comes down from the weight of the bar through the joint, that ball is sitting smack bang in the middle of the socket, like the center line's right through the socket. So there's a lot of stability there. So you can afford to put low down through it without any shearing movement of the ball in the socket. Because remember, the ball sits in the socket nice and snug and secure with soft tissue, labrum and muscle, not bone, okay? It's not like the hip joint. So if you've got a shearing force on that, it's gonna create more difficulty, more load, which may be more unsafe for you if you're starting out, especially if you had a shoulder injury or shoulder, shoulder surgery. So keep it in line in that scaption plane. Now you'll work that out, it's just basically, he's not gonna be in that plane. So it's not directly sort of 90 degrees, it's gonna be out by about 30, he just turns away by 30 degrees and bang, there's your mission, all right? So remember, get that plane right, get your hitching right, and also get your load right, all right? Make sure, the bar's already 20, make sure the load on here is not too much. You might wanna start with a smaller lighter bar, you might go down to 15, you might have no weights on it, that sort of thing, to try and get the load appropriate to what you're trying to press, then increase it as you get better. There's our tips, see you next time.